Hi guys, this is a quick video explaining how to use SWG on Big IP APM 11.6. On 11.6 release, we add a new, uh, a brand new feature called uh, pair request policy. So on 11.6, we have to change the way we set the SWG. So first of all, uh, before st starting any configuration, you have to download the latest high app for SWG. So you can request it to your F5 representative or go to uh, the website. This is the, the brand new one, the latest one is 1.1 one, one. In, in January 2015. So first of all, before starting the, the high app, you have to set your APM SWG uh, part section. So first of all, go to APM and create an access policy. Mine is called SWG policy, and this is an SWG explicit profile type. So just create one policy, and in the VP, start with a very easy VP. So this one is very easy to understand. This is a four or seven. Response, it's a question for a request for authentication. It's a pop up in the browser uh, followed by a, a local DB authentication. So, in this IP, I have a local database. And following, and do not forget this box, it's very important. You have to set a scheme. You use a default one. On 11.6, we kept this, uh, this scheme, but there is only, only one scheme called default. So, assign, you have to assign this scheme if you want to, to follow, follow up. So this is the first global SWG policy. This policy is played at the first login. And when you arrive at the hello, the second policy called pair request policy starts. So this pair request policy is a little bit different. Have a look. This one is play at each request. So in my case, I want I want to check if I have to to bypass or not uh, the SSL inspection. So my first boss is to just to check if it's an HTTP or HTTPS connection. If it if it is an HTTP, I just do a category lookup. In my case, I have only one fallback, so do, I do not make any lockup on a category. And I assign a filter. So a filter is 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 a is a group of categories allow or disallow. So first of all, we have to set your filters. In my case, I have created a, a black porn filter uh, which allow every categories except adult materials. Okay. So this is my own URL filter. And I use it in my perp. Okay, so for each request, I check if the website is part of a uh, hybrid materials categorization or not. If it is a an HTTPS connection, I have to do first of all one st one stuff. If I have to check if it is a financial or not website. If it is a financial website, I'm not allowed to make any SSL inspection. Okay, so the SSL session handshake has to be done between the client, the, the laptop, and the server, the financial server, the backend server in a, in a remote website. So if the website is part of financial data and service or online brokerage and trading categories, I do not make any SSL inspection. I do not use SSL for what proxy features. Else, I do in a fallback. I do an SSL inspection, and I check as well the filtering. Okay, I do. I use my block porn filter. This is my my pair request policy. Very easy to understand. The last step is to start your IAP. So let's go. Starting that, SWG, it's an explicit in my case. Uh, this one. So this is a help. 
explicit yeah sure ip address 10 28 10 121 31 28 why not i have to give a fqdn anyway my case ha, yes i do interception inspection of course what i want to do i want to use ssl for proxy feature so for http traffic 80 https 443 good and now i have to select my explicit access policy this is a global one swg policy so to remind you this one and, and the pair request this one to remind you is this this one okay so the global is played one time at the first time for the authentication and the second one is play at each request and of course i can make ldap group search and so on to check the group of people uh, dns resolution i'm gonna use the the root ints root ints okay i don't have a dns in my, my lab and the most important point is this one to do ssl interception i have to provide uh, to the bip uh, a ca certificate known by the laptop by the clients okay in order to do not have uh, the warning and says a warning i have to provide a certificate from from the ca so i have up uploaded my ca and the key and i finish so you can see all the object, a lot of objects, because SWG have a lot of objects for categorization. But the best way to check the configuration is to go here. So this is our configuration, SWG explicit. I have my explicit VS. I have a reject. I have an NAT and a 443. So let's get, uh, let's get started. I use Firefox. In Firefox, I can set my own, own explicit configuration you go here parameters and you you set your uh, your IP address for your XP VS one to one so let's test so the first website uh, we can try with uh, youtube.com I have the pop-up, the 407. So in my local database, it's math, math. Again, good. So I'm connected on YouTube on an HTTPS. So let's have a look on the certificate. This is not the official one. If you have a look, uh, the, the uh, issuer is my CA pushing a big IP. But the serial number is the right one. So this is SSL for proxy feature. So I can do interception and I can analyze all SSL traffic. Because YouTube is not a financial website. Okay, so let's continue with uh, Google. As you know, Google is HTTPS as well. So for Google, I should have the same certificate. Okay, so this is a Google one as well because youtube and google it's the same company and this is my ca perfect ssl interception if i try to go to uh, a trading company okay so e trade for instance i should not do ssl interception so i should see a real certificate from e trade okay and yeah it's the case the issuer is not my big IP, it's the Simon Tech class 3. So perfect. So okay, so I do not do him and do not do any SSL interception for financial websites and companies. This is the way to set your SWG. It's very easy to, to understand and to use the high app. Uh, you just keep in mind that you have to set your APM policies first of all, your global one for the authentication. Do not forget to assign a scheme and the pair request policy with the lookup and you can add new box if you want to make uh, a group lookup and so on. Okay, and you can use the SSL bypass at the end. Hope this helps.